for me. It was a very trying time. You know, it was bad enough for those of us who, I think, well, OK, I got a lot of injuries, but, I mean, that was me, just me. But here we'd got a man who'd, who'd, who'd built an ideal and just smashed right in front of him, human lives that he'd, he'd known since they were little boys. I would never have been surprised within a year of it happening had I turned around in a coach and saw the lads there. That was the feeling I had about it. Had I turned around in a coach, I don't think it would have shocked me. They should have been there. They were taken away so quickly and so suddenly that it didn't really sink in. I've never discussed a crash with Sir Matt or anyone who was, in, who was involved in the crash. So I think we keep our own thoughts on it and we keep our own, you know, we never discuss it. Uh, so, but I felt I always had something driving me on and I'm sure it was that. I always think back when I've been successful to, to how lucky I've been and wish that the lads were, I wish that the particular lads that went, uh, that are not with us anymore uh, could have been there to share it because they had a big part in it, you know, because the great drive to winning the European Cup was not just for the players' own personal achievements, but probably to prove something and to make something, what seemed to be right, happen. That night <coughs> at Wembley, it was a crown in glory for us all. For the players that had gone in the crash, for Bobby Charlton and Bill Fox, who were members of that team, who fortunately survived, even the players, the directors, the head was the chairman and directors, and everybody concerned. It was a night of achievement with the tragedy. There was joy that night. They were still one of the boys, really. Most of them were killed at 21 years of age. I think the country lost a team which would have been the talk of Europe and indeed the world. Certain times, it comes back to me. I think that'll live with me all my life. live forever in the history of football because I think they actually created something in their short life in the game. Liverpool have had the post-war greatness, but I suppose you might reflect at times that that would have been Manchester United. That is a very difficult question to answer because everything was going right. And we had the team, we had the players, and we were taking in our stride and going along and winning and winning and winning. And, uh, it's difficult to know what the outcome would have been, but I know it would have been outstanding. Probably I'm uh, leaning towards Manchester United, but the players that were there at the time were absolutely on their own. 